In this problem, we have to find how many unique paths are there from a given start point to end point in a grid. And the start point is top left corner, end point is the bottom right corner. So here you can see a grid of three rows and seven columns. So in total you know that uh, it's here in the first row, so it has to come to third row. And the directions that are allowed are in the right and down. So in total it has to take two uh, steps down and six steps right. So how many ways we can do. So one is that keep going right and finally from here there is no other way. You cannot go right. You cannot go left or up. So you come down. So this is one path. Similarly you come till here and then come here go there and then come down like this or we come here come down down and then like this similarly we can start from there come here and then reach here so you can see there are many possibilities so let's see how we can solve this so uh, we will solve the problem bottom up so this is our solution so what is the number of ways to reach from here so remember that only directions are right and down so from here you cannot go right so you have to reach here so only ways come down so from here there is only one possibility and from here again there is only one possibility you cannot go up this is not allowed so you will go right so this is one similarly for all these values you cannot go up you cannot go down since this is the last row left is not allowed so only possibility for all of these is one so if you reach anywhere in this row only way is to go right so there is one possibility similarly if you are here there is only one way of one unique path from here to here which is a straight line now let's come here here how many ways are there from here you can go here and here right and down so if you reach here there is one path if you reach here there is another path so you will come here and go like this or you can go here and come like this so what is this number of solutions number of unique paths from this cell number of unique paths from this cell you add those since you can go to only these two cells so one plus one is two now here from here you can go this cell or this cell if you reach here there are two paths if you reach here there is one path so total two plus one three here it's four here it's 4 plus 1, 5. Here it's 5 plus 1, 6. Then 6 plus 1, 7. Now let's come here. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. And then uh, 5, 15 plus 6, 21. And from this start, you will either go this cell or this cell. If you reach here, there are 21 unique paths from here. From here there are 7 unique paths. So you will take, you will add both of these and here the value will be 28. And this is the starting point, so this is the solution. So uh, it's very simple to code. Create a 2D uh, grid of size this uh, m cross n and then start filling up bottom up. And you will know that, uh, notice that at any point of time, let's say you are calculating for this cell then you just need this and this. This row you have already solved and you don't need the rows below it. So you can just keep this in the memory, just one row to optimize for space. So we are filling this way and finally we reach here and uh, return the solution. There are a few patterns here, the last will be always one and in the second last row it will be one, two, three, four, five like this all the way up to whatever is this M and in the next it will be 1, 3, 6, 4 so difference will keep increasing. So let's write the code for this in C++, Java and Python. Uh, I will not write the space optimized solution but you can try that out.
So here I am taking n cross m instead of m cross n because in the example they are saying that this is 7 cross 3 grid. Although we would in normal language say that this is 3 cross 7, 3 rows, 7 columns. But that does not make a difference if you rotate this diagram vertically up or take the transpose of this. That solution will not vary but just to align with this I am taking it in reverse order n cross m. And then let's fill the last row and last column. So these all will be one. C equal to zero. C less than M. C plus plus or plus plus C. And paths uh, C is varying and uh, rho is constant. Rho is last row n minus 1 and C is from 0 to m. This is 1. And we will repeat the logic for last column. So here column is fixed which is m minus 1. Now we will iterate this remaining from where? From here. So this last one is filled so we start from here that is m minus 2 n minus 2 and go till 0 0. write one cell that would be uh, same row but one column more R C plus 1 and the bottom cell would be same column but next row R plus 1 and finally we will return paths 0 0 so time complexity would be M cross N So the solution is accepted and we see that it's 0 millisecond that is uh, better than all the solutions or among the top of the submitted solutions. Now let's uh, write this in Java and Python, not much change is required. And the Java solution is also accepted and it's again also 0 millisecond that is time taken is good. Now we will write this in Python, Python 3. So paths is a list of lists. So outer list and inner list is let's initialize also with uh, each row is uh, has n columns m columns here it's opposite the example although that, that does not matter but you have to be in con you have to be consistent across your code 
so uh, for i in range n then and the python solution is also accepted and here we are right at the main part of the distribution now we are here among the top of the solution so i hope you understood this problem it was one of the simpler problems if you had solved uh this bottom up approach multiple times then this should look very trivial to you